India has spent nearly $16 billion and 40 years chasing a dream, building a fighter jet that the nation could proudly call its own. The Tejas was supposed to be that symbol of success, a sleek, modern aircraft that would boost the Indian Air Force and even shine on the global export market. But after decades of delays, technical problems, and now the embarrassing crash at the UAE air show, one hard question rises above everything else. How did a dream project turn into such a painful disappointment? The idea of Tejas was born in the 1980s, when India needed a modern replacement for its aging. MiG-21s, the ambition was big, but progress moved at a snail's pace. Throughout the 1990s and early 2000s, engineers struggled with faulty prototypes, design issues and constant testing failures. Deadlines were set, missed, reset and missed again. After so many years of waiting, the first Tejas finally entered service in 2016, but only as a limited version that still needed major improvements to match international standards. Even today, after four decades, India has inducted just 40 plus Tejas jets, a tiny fraction of the 300 plus originally planned. On paper, the plan was impressive. Build hundreds of fighters, upgrade them into MK1A and MK2 versions, and then export them to friendly nations. In reality, none of these goals have come close. Tejas does have good agility in a modern cockpit, but its shortcomings can't be ignored. The engine is underpowered, the radar is basic, and the aircraft carries a limited payload. Its combat range only 500 to 200 kilometers far, behind jets like the Rafale and Su-30 MKI, and because India depends heavily on foreign components for the engine, radar and avionics, the program experiences constant delays and rising costs. The newer MK1A version adds better avionics but still relies on the same engine. The more capable MK2 may arrive around 2030, but by then India's rivals will be flying far more advanced. Fifth and sixth generation fighters. Production has been another major setback. HAL simply cannot manufacture Tejas at the pace the Air Force needs. Pilots have also complained about maintenance challenges. And in 2025, when India and Pakistan had a brief air clash, Tejas wasn't deployed at all, meaning it still has zero real combat experience. Countries like Egypt and Brazil once showed interest in buying Tejas. But the recent airshow crash has shaken that confidence too. Tejas was meant to be India's pride. Instead, after 40 years, it has become one of the most delayed, over-budget, and troubled defense projects in the country's history.